Well, hello everyone. We're at number eight on the 2016 fall hire request list. And I'm trying to churn these out as fast as I can. This is uh, Neil Sadaka, Breaking Up is Hard to Do, slow version. Really jazzy, if you like jazzy stuff and don't want something that's too hard, this is what you want. Uh, let's take a listen to the intro. I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I always put the free part one on YouTube. We're going to do that in a minute and have a lesson for what I just played. But the rest of the lessons for this are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Works on all mobile devices. Thousands and thousands of lessons on there for everyone. I even have beginner lessons. If you need complete beginner lessons, you don't know anything, I've got them. There are 50 lessons on the site to get you started with my method and just getting your hands playing together. But uh, let's get started here with our, uh, you can find this on YouTube. There's a version that's a karaoke version that's good. Neil Sadaka, Breaking Up is Hard to Do, slow version. You can find that and, and really hear what I'm teaching. If you want to hear what we'll be doing. Lots of neat, inter interesting chords to play here. But we'll start with a uh, G row before I forget. Look me up on Facebook. Do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. You'll see what new lessons I'm doing when I'm up to. B, D, F sharp, B on the right, left hand on a G. Let's do a G octave. If you want to put a D in the middle, you can do that. But it's just real slow here at the beginning. It's really a stretched out tempo. One, two, count to two really slow. One, two, count three will be this. Really cool chord. B flat, F, A flat on the left, 5, 2, 1 for that. Right hand will move up to A flat, C, F, 1, 2, 5. Remember when your thumb is on a black key, you've got to kind of scoot in between the keys a little bit. Then count four will be bum, bum. We just, we were already on A flat, C, F. We'll just move that fifth finger up a little bit higher to get the G. And then play the F with our fourth finger. So that first measure is 1, 2, I'm oh, sorry, let me try again. One, two, three, four, and, and feel free to roll any of these chords if you want to do that. The next measure, we start with an E flat major seven, D, G, B flat, D on the right. By just first inspection, you might think, oh, that's a G minor. Yes, until you look at the left hand, we have an E flat on the bass that makes it an E flat major seven. Because we have E flat, G, B flat for a regular E flat chord, major chord, and then you add that D, get that jazziness, lots of major seventh chords in this. D, G, B flat, D, left hand on E flat, one, two, really stretch those two counts out because the singer is uh, improvising and um, taking their time, so you got to stretch it out a little bit. Count three, and you say, well, how do I play all of those notes? Well, the C, D, I turn my thumb sideways, and I can play two notes with one finger, then I can play F sharp, A, D with two, three, five. Okay, that makes it a lot easier than trying to do that, but you can't even reach that. Just turn your thumb sideways. Left hand's on a D. Count three. Now count four. Cool. B, D sharp, G, B. You can use one, two, three, five. Why? Because I want to save that fourth finger for the A. Left hand's on a B, by the way. Four. And stretch it out. So from the beginning, one, two, three. So the next measure we have an uh, E minor, B, E, G on the right, left hand on E octave, one, two, and then three, beautiful chord there. You say, what chord is that? I don't know what that is. Well, break it down to the simplest form. We have A, C sharp, E, which is an A chord. Add the G, that makes it an A7. We're used to that. If you add a B in there, we get an A9. It's a ninth chord. And when you uh, kind of push the notes closer together, Version, it mix it up, it really sounds neat. Three count four will be up high for a little frosting on the top. We come up to C sharp E G B with one, two, three, five. We'll count four. So one, two, three, four, one. Now count one of the next measures. So what is that? Wow. Uh, a C E G. 
In my mind, I just look at it as an A minor 7 on the right with a D bass. That helps me think of what the chord is. A minor, 7 in the right, D in the bass. Different ways to look at chords. Uh, and then we have a, a little, uh, not a scale run, but an arp, our chord arpeggiated run here. The fingering I'm going to use for this is kind of unorthodox, but I think it works the best for this. A, C, E, G. See that? That's just a broken chord. Notice that it's a chord. Get your fingers on the keys before you start it. First four notes. Then I'm just going to do that to get to the next chord. My wrist is already moving that way, so I'm there. By the time I get to the G, my thumb's already ready to come down on the A, C, E, G again. And then two more notes, C, D. You can play those with three, four, whatever you want. So, da, 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 da. Kind of like a roller coaster. It goes fast and slows down at the end. So slow at the first, faster, and then slower at the end. You can just work on that. All right, so you could also cheat and do, you know, left hand, right hand, left and right. You know, that's not really cheating, but uh, whatever you want to do. The next measure we have a D7, C, D, F sharp in the right. Left hand is up high for this though, above middle C on D and A, and we'll just roll it all. And then we'll wait for the next measure, which we teach in part two on webpianoteacher.com. But starting at the very beginning, let's do the whole thing. One, stretch it out. Three, four, and one, two. Hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll talk to you later.